Hello and welcome to the fourth week on Logic video. Today we discuss which one is better, the Microsoft Surface or the new iPad 4. Days before Microsoft released their new Microsoft Surface, Apple came out with a surprise release of the iPad 4. Yes, it did of course go under the radar because it was overshadowed by the release of their new and obviously lesser iPad mini. Sporting the new Apple A6 processor, which is rumored to be twice as fast as the current A6 processor, the iPad 4 could spell trouble for, the, for Microsoft's latest entry into the tablet world. So let's pair the two up against each other, starting with the Surface. For starters, the Surface comes in two different models. The first model is the user-friendly model, which is powered by a Tegra 3 processor. The second model is the Pro model, which is more for business uses and comes with the Core i5 processor. The Surface is also overall a bigger machine. It's measuring in at 10.6 inches, which is much bigger than the current iPad 4. The Pro Edition has a resolution of 1920 by 1080p. The Pro version is also available in a 128GB SSD model, unlike the iPad which, which stops at 64GB. Now let's move on to its ports. The Surface is sporting USB 2.0 port and a mini display port as well as a micro SDXC slot. The weight of the Surface Pro is 1.99 pounds. At the and the Windows 32GB RT model is $499. The Pro model of the Surface will be using Windows 8 Pro, while the other version of the Surface, let's call it the entry-level version, will be, will be using Windows RT and will only cost $499, or such we've heard so far. Now onto the iPad 4. The iPad 4, as I said before, is equipped with the dual-core Apple A6X processor, Unlike the Surface, its display is smaller at 9.7 inches, but it is utilizing Apple's new Retina display, so its display, so its display resolution is 2048 by 1536, and it is said to be much faster than the iPad 3, so much so that Apple has now removed the iPad 3 from their website, rendering it now obsolete. So for those of you who currently have an iPad 2, upgrading to the iPad 4 would be a good move for you. Like previous versions of the iPad, the iPad 4th generation comes in 16, 32 and 64 gig models. It also comes with the new Apple Lightning port, which some people don't really like but you do get used to it, seeing as Apple does say that the new Lightning port delivers a faster connection than the old 30 pin connector. The iPad 4 weighs in at 1.44 pounds, which is slightly lighter than the Microsoft Surface, but then again, what does 0.55 of a pound really make a difference towards? At the end of the day, it all comes down to personal preference. I find the Surface more targeted at business people, as it is able to do word processing just like a normal Windows computer, like something that you'd find in an average everyday office. But then again, the iPad is more targeted towards entertainment, things like browsing the web and applications and all things that Apple is very well known for. I personally would go for the Surface because I can do more things on there like editing videos and of course writing the script for this very video. So guys, I'm keen to know what you guys think so leave a comment in the description and comment, rate and subscribe and that's it guys.